So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. And our live game is Celta Vigo against Ajax. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Thanks Peter, hello everybody. I'm ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Celta Vigo line up in a 4-5-1. Yeah, this is a setup that offers easier flexibility whether you want to attack and or defend. been intercepted and that will come to nothing some good work on the right flank now what's next Schoener now the pass Feldman plenty waiting in the middle oh that is lovely footwork Zayat can he score and the follow-up done ever so well well that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his his high-class wage danger averted for now Surely a shot. Huntelaar opts to play it back. Yago Aspas. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Joel Veltman. Passes it through. Big chance! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Ajax are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. advantage Joel Veltman Zayek Huntelaar clips one through shoots great build up it all deserved a better ending beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this Poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Dinks one in. Beautifully done. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Tries lifting it over. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. So what now? He's got away, tries a through ball. Turns and goes back. And he's there to cut it out. Could move up a gear here.
Celta Vigo are already trailing here early on. They cannot afford to let this get worse. Well, the task is obviously a lot tougher, and they can't afford to waste time feeling sorry for themselves. The correct response is greater focus and work rate now, and especially, especially avoiding another goal. And it's Schoener. Schoener tries to stroke it through. And the weighted pass. And he's made sure that that won't get through. One shell pass, that's the message there. He's had a shot! It's a carbon copy of their previous miss. Ajax really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. To throw in. Yago Aspas. It's wrestled off the ball. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Feltman. Looks like a good ball through. It's a brilliant interception. Forward it goes. Yago Aspas. And it's Huntelaar. Huntelaar spreads it towards the left. He'll have a dip! He has done it! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Ajax to have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Schoener. Zayek. Joel Veltman. Now the pass, looks to dink one in. Looks to slip it through. Shade too heavy, keeper can pick that up. And it's Aspas. Tries a through ball. Looks to clip it forward. Too much on it. And that's the keepers. Zayek. Huntelaar. He's had a look. Time to play, and it is a goal kick. Poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Well, 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 
tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Beltman clips one through. Beltman needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. We sit high. Now here's the through ball. Scherner. And back to base. Celta Vigo are trailing here with the first half almost done. Lobs it in gently. Has a hit! No, not quite. Well, the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch. Just brushed off the ball there. And he's on a charge. He's left his man. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Referee has his flag raised for offside. Zayek. That's great strength on the ball. Untelag gets it back. We hit half-time, reflections on the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? <laughs> and the action is back on the way. Before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. And it's Funtelon. Bass. And the weighted pass, and he just whacks it away. Funtala, Sayek, Joel Veltman. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. to get it forward quickly. Plays it out to the flank. Played out to the right. He's got options out wide. Cut out in the nick of time. The move looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm.
Schoener. Celta Vigo, we've got to see a, a real determination and purpose now if this deficit is to be recovered. No holding back and being patient about this challenge. It's time to roll the sleeves up and, and go for it. Aimed long and direct. Celta Vigo keep the ball but not do anything meaningful with it. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Joel Veltman. Now the pass. Heads it! And that's caused a worry or two. Huntelark did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. It so nearly came off for him, but that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows and the quality he produces. It's gone out for a throw-in. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Out to the left it goes. Now here's the through ball. Receives it from behind. In comes the cross, and he's cut it out. Now the counter. Long and high towards the flank. Now here's the through ball. a great header got plenty on that well as contact goes that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net i think when it comes to the aerial department this fella is definitely no sledge <laughs> three without reply this is becoming a stroll thus Aspas. Goalkeeper's ball. Zayek. Well, it's normally around now that the managers think about making changes. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. On. Hurtles into the tackle. It is a corner, good chance. Gets up to head it! It's there! They're back within reach! A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. <laughs> so to Vigo, give themselves a fighting chance. Back in with a shout. Zayek. Huntelard plays it out to the wing. Wonderful quick feet. Tries to stroke it through. There are a few waiting for it. Swept in. Steered forward. Oh, good interception. Beltman goes looking. Ajax can't seem to retain. And a header! 
Superb from Huntelaar! However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. His second of the game and an eye now for the hat-trick. I just think that's really good management, introducing one of his younger players when the pressure's totally off, just allowing him some valuable, easy on-field experience time. Ajax grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Forward it goes. Aspas gets it upfield. Well played, he saw that coming. Hoists it high. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, it was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. And it's Feltman. Good try cutting inside here. Chip through. Done very well to intervene. Huntala. Huntala! And that has been clubbed away. That's a throw in. Ajax making another change here. Yeah, their position is a, a dominant one now, Peter. So introducing one of the youngsters for some added experience is bang on. <laughs> and it's Vass. It's come loose. Aspas. Now here's the through ball. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Looking to shoot! And it's been taken straight back. Chooses to go back. Swung over into the middle. Now it's Bass. Looking for a decent ball in. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. It'll be a throw in. Lobs it in gently, plays it back. That intervention was very necessary. Joel Veltman. Schoener. Zayek. Huntelaar. Out to the flank. And that's it. Well, that is truly disappointing. It is a results business, and this result is worth nothing. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Celta Vigo lost their way after falling behind early. Their concentration was weakened and their character, and that's cause for address. My thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.
Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Victoria Poulsen against Shakhtar Donetsk. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium. I've been hit by it too. Victoria Poulsen have chosen to go 4-5-1. Look, for the lone striker, before we even consider what happens around him, he has to get hold of the ball. That's imperative. was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And that's been leave it clear. So what now? He's cut it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's searching through. Bernard. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Looks to clip it forward. Has it out wide now. Kola. And that is going out for a goal kick. Bernard. Shakhtar Donetsk have been scoring with pleasing consistency. Goals in each of the last five games. Stepanenko. And now they can launch a counter. Just brushed off the ball there. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Stepanenko. Bernard. Deftly done. Victoria Poulsen putting their opponents under a lot of pressure in the early stages. it 
through. Now here's the through ball. Ball is over the line. Played out to the wing. And the ball is out of play. Spreads it wide. Cerna looking to get on the end of this. Made certain that won't get through. Still goalless at the moment. Kola very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. And the weighted pass. No foul, says the referee. Bernard. Could move up a gear here. Tries to dink it in. Oh, good interception. He's come loose. Piotov gets it upfield. And it's Bernard. Ball's gone out of play. Dinks one in. Goes for it! Saved it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. <laughs> it's being played forward. Possession this, but very little to show for it. Lobs it in gently. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Keeper's got good distance on that. and high towards the flank. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Stepanenko. Well played, he saw that coming. Bernard floats one over. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Stepanenko. Plays it out to the wing. Well, that's where he wants it. So, who can spark this game into life?
Stepanenko. Now the pass. Bernard. Five minutes till the break. Out to the left it goes. Looks like a good ball through. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. way he's probably made better decisions and he just whacks it away turns and goes back big chance here plays it back in with a header oh the keeper's done ever so well the keeper really dug out his defense then a magnificent effort and we hit half time so another team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So there was the first half. Victoria Pilsen ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Schoener. A really good feat from him. So who's he picking out? Oh, that's neat. And he's there to cut it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Battles to win it back. Bernard. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. It was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Looks to dink one in. Keeper goes long. Tries lifting it over. Tries a through ball. Now here's the through ball. And that is good defending. It's been repelled. Gets it, and now what? Oh, good stop by the keeper. Oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Oh, checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Plays it into the channel. Is over the line. Pass 
passes it through. What an adventurous run from a defender. It's deflected over the goal line for a corner. Victoria Poulsen making another change here. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Aimed low and direct. Cerner gets it back. And it's Bernard. Lovely bit of skill. Goes for a sweeping cross. Breakthrough and well into the second period, it is still anyone's game. Spreads it wide, he's got options out wide. Timely intervention. Tries to get it forward quickly. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Gets it upfield, cuts it out. Forward it goes. Panenko. Rakitsky. Victoria Poulsen still have one last substitution available. And now the pass. He's had a shot! No mistake! That could turn out to be a huge, huge goal! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Aldenetsk get themselves into the lead. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsolved. Shapes the shoots! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Victoria Poulsen have decided now is the time to make their final change. Tries to stroke it through. Must score! Victoria Pilsen are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Great challenge. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? That'll be a throw. Looks like a good ball through. Shakhtar Donetsk are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Hoists it high. With the ball through.
There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? A glorious footwork! Victoria Poulsen are in dire need of a breakthrough, can they? Look, their path is set, they have to take risks in every situation now. Bernard, up to meet it! Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then, that's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious, he's one of the biggest influences out there. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. He's left his man, gets his foot in there. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Tempers are flaring, the referee really needs to get a grip again. and need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Great ball and now it's an end! It's a goal! Tying minutes and we're all square again! Well, he was never going to miss from there, so much to aim at. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. So, all square, with almost no time remaining. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. We are into stoppage time. Played out to the wing. Lobs it in gently. One good cross, maybe the last chance. Danger averted for now. And that's it. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. Really watchable and honours even. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the card. So, overall, I don't think anyone will be complaining too much about what they've got. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.
A warm welcome from the Argentine capital, Buenos Aires. We are at the El Monumental, the home of River Plate. And here we have River Plate against AC Milan. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. River Plate are in a 4-4-2 formation. It's a system of balance. The midfield can be a straight four or a diamond shape, and one of the attackers can, can always drop off. Lobs it in gently. Has a hit! Oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. their last five away games, it is a worry. Bonaventura, Milan have the league's best defensive record. Barini, just brushed off the ball there. He could be in, hits one! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. defending but that'll do where to from here on to Levo goes looking Marini Bonaventura Shalhanolu tries a through ball Marini Shalhanolu there's the ball in well read he sorted that out Forward it goes. Neto Perez. River Plate have begun the game in high octane fashion. Yeah, it's a good start, Peter, and they look hungry for goals, and they'll be aware of having to capitalize in such a good spell. to Levo, great challenge. Well, that looks a foul, yep, referee's given it. <laughs> Benucci sticks in a foot to win it back. The Batty, now the pass. Done well to tidy up the situation. Plays a clever pass. And through to the goalkeeper. The batty. So it is still nil-nil. Bonaventura. Rodriguez. Rodriguez 
And a header! Dento carries. Bonaventura. Tolivo. Barté. Enzo Perez hit long and direct. one in and the ball is out of play Enzo Perez Got away with one there. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious. He's one of the biggest influences out there. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. he's looking for Good defending he knew he had to stop it right there on to Levo and it's Borini Shalhanolu spreads it wide cuts it out Perez plays it out to the wing. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Keeper goes long. Now it's Borini. Bonaventura. Goes back. Aimed long and direct. Fratelli. Long and high towards the flank. It's over the line, and that'll be a goal kick. It's going to break the deadlock. Now would be a good time. With the telly. Nabati. Bonaventura. Locatelli. Shalhanolu. Rodriguez. He goes long. He's in, surely! Back into the middle. And that had to be more accurate. The Bate. Bonucci. And it's Borini. 
Locatelli. Bilia can't get the better of his opposite number. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Barini. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Chelhanolu. Neto Perez. The half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How would you review the first half? Yeah, it's a half that's had a, a limp finish after a decent start, so the manager has to re-energise and re-enthuse his players to come back out pumped. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And we are underway again. River Plate clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Looks to thread it through. This, he's gone for it! Barini with a beautifully timed run. Nando Perez. Passes it through. Shot a goal! Oh, he's really drilled it. I actually like to see that in shots at goal when there's a, a noticeable effort to get over the ball and, and keep it down. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. little display of skill that is whistle's gone that's a uh, foul he's gone for goal good strong hand by the keeper denied by a great piece of goalkeeping absolutely terrific terrific reflexes goalkeeping at its very best Bonucci, Ricardo Rodriguez, Barini, Bilia, Bonaventura, great strength, too strong for his opponent, Ricardo Rodriguez, Nabate, If you did take an extended half-time break, you'll be relieved. He'll have a dip! Oh, surely that deserved better. Suzo fully deserves the plaudits for setting up the chance. Challenge, he just stood firm. Tries lifting it over. Chalanolu plays it forward. Bonaventura. Locatelli. Plenty of action at either end, just nothing to show for it. Yes, and it's been far from uneventful. We've had a healthy amount of attempts at goal from both teams, and with this kind of ambition, we may not have to wait too long. Milan look as though they're about to make a change.
Over to the left. Abate does well there. Alert. Corner then. And that's been leave it clear. Locatelli. River Plate still have two substitutions up their sleeve. Chelhanolu, Bilia, Locatelli, Bilia, Ricardo Rodriguez. Looks to slip it through. Chelhanolu looking to get on the end of this. by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Tries to get it forward quickly. Billia is the guilty party there. Hoists it high. It's out for a goal kick. Perez has come loose. Benucci comes sliding in. He's been bundled over. That is a foul. Well, that's a booking. Always looked it. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. He's trying the shot. Rodriguez boots it to safety. Kalinic. Bilia plays it into the channel. Can he score? Glorious from Kalinic. Unbelievable. They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. And how about that for a volley? Executed to perfection. Kalinic simply judged everything beautifully. That takes a lot of training ground practice, and we know what practice can make. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Milan themselves into the lead. Well, when the going gets tough, etc., um, they can still turn this round, I think. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? River play are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Gets it back. Now it's Skoko. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Billiard with a long pass out wide. Aimed in towards the centre. Oh, smart save. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Passes it through. 
and it's hoisted clear. Play are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Steered out wide, going through and shoots. Oh, and that should have been two. Kalinic getting all the congratulations, and rightly so. Going two down would have really hurt. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and you can hear how the crowd are reacting to this too. And it's Skoko. Bonucci goes looking. Dashing forward at pace. Perez battles to win it back. Just brushed off the ball there. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Played out to the wing. Suso. Can he deliver? Nicely controlled. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Suso. Tries a through ball. Played it again. Milan can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Looks like a good ball through. And the shot! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. of it they hung on right till the finish it has ended in disappointment defeat and back to the drawing board look I think a draw might have been a much fairer result today it's just that one crucial second half goal that's what cost them and that's where we have to end it from me Peter Drury and my co-commentator Jim Beglin a very good evening to you all
So a warm welcome to you all, we will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Dinamo Kiev against Atletico Mineiro. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Thanks Peter, it's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. Dinamo Kiev shape up in a 4-3-3. Well, it's a system that promotes width, Peter. The wide men can stretch the fences and just create that running room for others. Rotan lobs it in gently. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Massive leap! It's in! Listen, scoring early doesn't guarantee you anything, but the first goal was always important, and that's a terrific opener. What a great header! Got plenty on that. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. <laughs> Dinamo Kiev take the early advantage. Can he score? It's broken loose. Plays it back. Has a swing at it. Chip through. Atletico Mineiro have been the more adventurous for me and productive and now they have to add that clinical bit. Khrushchev. He's made good progress from a deep position. Now the pass. Header! Good stop, that wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Elias. Gets wrestled off the ball. And Bacani passes it through. Decent looking ball. Khrushchev. And Bacani hits it! Elias. So what now? Looks like a good ball through. It was 
was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Dinamo Kiev are already ahead, the perfect start. Well, they've managed to get their noses in front early because they've been much quicker out of the stalls. They've set a high tempo and intensity and look as though they, they want it much more at the moment. Forward it goes. It's come loose. Moroshuk. Scored inside the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Looks to slip it through. Delivers across. Well read, he sorted that out. Come back to the keeper. Aimed long and direct. Elias. Tries a through ball. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. And he just whacks it away to get it forward quickly. Looks like a good ball through. Gets into some space. Played into the middle. Victor deals with it effortlessly. it goes aimed long and direct breaks on here we sit high Khrushchev he's left his man I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Into the channel, then into the big chance! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Played out to the wing. That's a look and plays it in. Cut out in the nick of time. Bacardi. Bulanski. Dinamo Kiev are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Passes it through. A brilliant interception. Over to the left. He's in space and looking for options. Can he 
put it away. He's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Dinamo Kiev head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Already up and running for the second half. Dinamo Kiev carry a one goal lead into the second half. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Forward it goes. Carney spreads it towards the left, going through, puts in a cross, gets up to head it! He will be livid with himself. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Bacani looks to slip it through. Lovely bit of skill. Delivers a cross. Elias. Bacani. He's got away, and it's Mbakani. Out wide to the right. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Could try cutting inside here. Plays it out to the wing. A chance to play it in. In towards the middle. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Khrushchev. Morosiuk. Passes it through. Could move up a gear here. Forward it goes. Rota. Just the single goal between the sides. And it's Mbakani. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. He's left his man. Beautifully done. Tries a through ball. He's had a go! They've scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! 
are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Dinamo Kiev take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Deftly done. Aimed long and direct. Substitutions will be coming up pretty soon. Khrushchev. Oliver. Done very well to intervene. McCarney out to the left it goes Kujalski and Bukhani pushes it out wide one in and a shot Bujalski and Bukhani a scorer already in the game looks like a good ball through oh good interception Elias of an hour to play tries lifting it over and here comes the corner and there is some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change well you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here I think he's been made the scapegoat after that but I guess something had to be done I suppose it did need a little change His terrific skill tries to cross. Cacciaridi. Rota. And it's Hushev. Oh, that's neat. Oh, the defense got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Elias. Atletico Mineiro getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Now the pass. And he's cut it out. Moroshuk. Tries to get it forward quickly. Leading by two, and the finishing line in sight. The Bacani. Fine defending there. And the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. And the weighted pass. Going through, 
Umbakani. Oh, he's made certain that won't get through. Oliver. Oliver. Kusev. Umbakani. Shell pass, that's the message there. And the referee brings it to a close. A decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Dinamo Kiev were victorious here, and rightly so. When you're allowed free license to strut your stuff in wide positions, we could only see one winner. This is a performance that hasn't just got my approval. Listen. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.